Once we have created the domain, we can populate it. First, you'll go to the upper right plus icon, the global create button, and here's where you can create individual assets. Now, Colibra tries to guide you to only be able to create the type of assets that are relevant to the domain, so since we have a glossary over here, we're only able to create business assets like acronym, business term, KPI and measurements. These are of course configurable by your admin, but in this case we'll be focusing on the business term. I'm gonna go over here and I'll go ahead and type the term Defective Goods Inventory and click Create. We can see that this was reflected here, so now let's go into the asset itself. This is the asset page. This is where you're actually able to populate the data that you want to track alongside the asset. I can do that through the Add Characteristics screen. And as you upload more data, you'll be able to build this from scratch in a template and enrich your catalog in bulk. But for now we're keeping it very simple, so I'll add a description and hit save. Great, so now I've created an asset here, but how can I create assets in bulk? So that's where we can use the import and export functionality. The best way to import is actually start exporting. This way you'll get a fresh template to fill. So I'll go ahead and export the assets. Select this option so I can fill it and re-import. This way if I do any updates to existing assets, it will map those correctly. And I'll leave everything else by default. Now this is the template for the creation of assets with basic information. This can get much more complex by adding relations to other assets and attributes. The recommended basic fields to include are full name, community, domain and asset type. Asset ID is only needed if you're updating existing assets. And I happen to have a file here which I already filled and you can see I included the attribute definition. Awesome, so now I can go back to Calibra. I can click import here and we'll click on assets and this is where it will ask me to import a file. Let's click next and this is where we map those table headers to the actual Calibra headers within the platform. So I can see all the different fields and these are going to be auto mapped. Or you could do this manually by the way if you wanted to change some of the table headers to a specific resources. I'm gonna click next and this is our final configuration screen for the import. This is where we're saying we're gonna create new assets that they don't exist yet and we're going to update them if we did have them. This is where we could replace existing values with attributes and relationships and other metadata we're testing on this. We have the ability to do a test import. If any errors occur as that import goes through, we'll be notified of them. So I feel pretty good about this and I'm gonna click on test import. This is a very clean, very simple import here. I'll go ahead and finish. And now that's completed, I can see all the different assets created in this domain. Now let's just say I wanted to tie together the different attributes and different assets within the platform. I have two ways to do that. The first way is through attributes. This is essentially metadata on top of your metadata. We saw this at the beginning when we added a definition for defective goods inventory. And we also have relations. And relations allow us to tie together how this asset functions with other assets in the platform. It helps with combining that metadata and that business metadata across your ecosystem. So let's keep it very simple. I noticed that I have the term DGI which is actually an acronym for the term we created previously. And I want to tie those two together. So I'll go ahead, I'll add a characteristic of the type relation for an acronym. I'll click on it and select the asset to which it's related to. Awesome, so now that relation is established, there should be the output of this relation as well. There we go. By using Colibra, you'll be able to upload wide swaths of data to whatever communities and domains you wish and then tie those together using attributes and relations. 